Hi everyone, this is going to be a collective tarot reading. Please keep in mind that the messages may or may not resonate with you. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages your tarot guides would like for you to know right now. Right now there's a lot of inner struggle or there's a lot of inner turmoil in your energy and right now your energies um, appear very blocked you seem very closed off here um, perhaps closed off to opportunities closed off to people around you um, you because of this very blocked and closed off energy you might actually be experiencing physical or even emotional symptoms uh, that could relate to a certain chakra um, and right now, temperance, I feel like, is inviting you to seek balance um, or to try and rebalance the chakras, try and um, rebalance the energies here, okay? You could, um, to do that, okay, you could practice opening yourself up, opening up your chakras. Um, there are certain breathing meditations and techniques and uh, like meditation practices that can also help you especially those of you that are experiencing those physical or emotional and internal blockages. But right now, I feel like there's a lot of inner struggle and a lot of inner turmoil um, that's going on with your energy. So think of it as energy blocks, basically, and it's affecting you. You're experiencing this energy block. If you feel like you have had a lot of difficulty making decisions you've had a lot of difficulty being proactive and you find yourself being reactive um or if you just feel like um you know your opportunities aren't necessarily opening themselves up to you um it's like the way i see it for you it's like progress in your life and in different areas of your life has been halted it's 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 come to a complete stop okay um, these could be areas of your life that in, um, that include like love and relationships, friendships, business, partnership, finances or careers. So you're experiencing an energy block right now. What you are being invited to do right now is to learn how to identify what those energy blocks, um, what they are and transform those energy blocks because these energy blocks are coming up not only, they're not only um, being translated as like you're interpreting them as physical symptoms, but also like emotional and um, internal symptoms as well. So energy blocks physically in the body, in the mind and the soul as well. Um, you could also find yourself experiencing like a really low energy right now as well. Okay, um, you might not feel, you might not be feeling like yourself. People might even be uh, saying that you're not your usual self. You could be um, experiencing, yeah, just like fatigue, um, exhaustion, uh, or just feeling very flat and demotivated as well, okay? You have an energy blocked. You have an energy block, basically. There is something here that is causing your block, okay? And your task is to find out what that is, what's causing this energy block, what's this... There's some sort of limitations, there's some sort of energies that are being stored in your body and in your mind and in your soul that are causing this stagnation. Everything is made up of energy, okay? Everything is made up of energy, everything moves. But right now... There's something here that's not, there's an energy that feels so blocked that it's stagnated and it's not moving. Okay, it's not passing through. It's it's coming in, but it's not passing through this energy. Okay, so this could be, like it could be emotional such as anger and resentment, hurt and pain. Um, and you're unconsciously holding on to this energy. You're unconsciously holding on onto this hurt, this anger, this pain, this confusion, um, this turmoil, 
or you're being blocked by it and your energy is absorbing that pain and this is why it's manifesting in physical symptoms like maybe you know headaches migraines okay or pain pain throughout the body as well uh it's some sort of deep you have to release to me it feels like you have to release some sort of deep-seated perceptions maybe okay and i say that because there's there's something here that you're not seeing there could be deep-seated perceptions that you have um, and these could mean um, like these could manifest as emotional or behavioral patterns but there's a way of doing things or a way of seeing things that just feel so natural and normal to you that you don't see how how this is affecting you okay um and basically you're because of this you're compromising your reality now for some of you i'm seeing a lot of like clutter as well so a block okay a block is anything that prevents movement it prevents flow okay anything that prevents you know progress this is why where you're at right now is stagnation this is why you haven't been progressing this is why you might feel like everyone and everything around you is moving on um they're, you know they're progressing um they're getting somewhere and you feel stuck it's because of this block this block is pre preventing movement in your life preventing movement in a relationship in a marriage in a partnership in business in career in work in a project and in your overall personal growth it's making it very difficult for you to achieve a goal for you to achieve progress and this is why something has stagnated for you it's because of this energy block okay you have to declutter right now you have to declutter your energies um, you are storing a lot of energy that is not serving you positively if anything it's serving you negatively it's blocking you it's stagnating you it's preventing you from making improvement in your life okay there's something here and it's something that i feel like it's deep-seated um, and it's something that you're not seeing okay or maybe you are aware of it but you don't want to admit to it okay or it's or it's something maybe you're not noticing at all okay so it's time for you to declutter but but to do that first you have to acknowledge what it is okay because for some of you it's like you might be aware that there is something in your life that you might be aware for example you've stagnated or you might be aware that you feel blocked okay um but you're not necessarily sure what is the reason for it and right now you have to identify the blockages you have to identify exactly what before you can you know declutter and before you can allow um, for movement you have to identify this energy block okay so you have to go instead you're you've been going around the problem but you got to go through it you got to go into it you have to get stuck into it what is it that's causing you an energy block and the energy block for you is going to be very different to the next person watching this okay so you have to get unstuck okay and that's going to be that's what's going to be the healer here it's releasing the block getting unstuck so whatever this block is for you and it's not going to be easy and it's not going to happen overnight right because for some of you this block is deeply seated in your it's deeply embedded in your energies in your subconscious it's it consists of some very heavy energy um, like for example repressed emotions repressed feelings dysfunctional perceptions dysfunctional beliefs um, it could be like trauma okay trauma childhood trauma um, the trauma you've experienced in your childhood environment it could be even inherited trauma guys um, it could be childhood memories it could also be programming conditioning and programming um, that's been absorbed from your family dynamics from your culture or from your like uh, beliefs the religious or spiritual beliefs the thing is this this is not so simple it's quite complex because for some of you these energy blocks could be even inherited through family but also through past life so this is why you have a lot of work to do 
Um, so, re you know, it's all about releasing. It's all about um, healing right now. Um, it's also possible that you've been going through life and absorbing other people's energies. Um, and that happens way more often than we, uh, you know, we realize. So, you know, this, this is what's blocking your success. This is what's blocking your progress. This is what's blocking um, your, you know, your um, uh, movement transition here. Your spirit is affected by your spirit. Your energy is affected by this block. So you need to consult that part of yourself that feels blocked, that part of yourself that feels the trauma, the hurt, the pain, or that feels those negative self-limiting beliefs. Okay, you have to identify the location. So if you're experiencing a lot of migraines, okay, it could have something to do with your beliefs, your self-limiting beliefs, the beliefs you have about yourself. Um, so identify where those energy blocks are happening in your body because you're going around the problem, okay? You're not, I think some of you are aware of what the problem is or what you're aware that there is an energy block, but you're not really sure exactly what is the energy block or what's causing the energy block. So instead, you know, instead of going around it, you have to now uh, dig deep. You have to go into it. So, you know, for those of you that do feel blocked mentally, the mind, okay, the mind, it reflects your knowledge and it, you know, you have been downloading over the years, over the, you know, the, this, over a li your lifetime, you've been downloading some negative energies, which have become mental blocks. These are the mental blocks that have been preventing you from success balance and good health There's an insight. I'm getting a strong message where there's an insight into your your mind, your belief system, or even your soul here. This is where the block is coming from. your life force has not been able to circulate freely okay your heart has been blocked your heart has been closed off you do not you have a very open and loving energy to you um you are you have this warmth this radiance and this light around you your aura is very um it's very um illuminating here okay but you have closed yourself off you have closed yourself off to the possibility of love and not just romantic love but love in general okay um but it's not because i don't think you're doing it consciously i feel like it's subconscious i think it, it comes down to those to emotional and behavioral patterns as well okay you've been holding on to them you've been holding on to a trauma uh, a conditioning, uh, a pain of some sort. There's unhealed wounds. And these wounds feel like they stem from the past, but they feel subconscious. They feel subconscious because you're not aware just how negatively and dramatically it's been affecting your life. Okay, and it's 
it's been holding you back from living your best life it's been holding you back see you're right now you're on the edge of this verge you're on the edge of this precipice um, there is you know there's a world of expansion there's a world of growth there's opportunities for love and opportunities for success but you're holding on to, and again with the Four of Pentacles, notice how it's the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles and Two of Swords. Notice the placement of the objects. It's like right um, in front of the heart, the chest. So it's almost like, you know, it's like it's this barrier and it's you. It, that's where the blockages are stemming from. Okay, it's, it's internal. It's internal, but it's manifesting externally. And you're closing. The thing is, there's opportunities for love and there's opportunities for um there's opportunities for growth and for success but you're closing yourself off to these opportunities because of these energy blocks okay because of on these unhealed wounds because of this trauma here once you identify and, and it's not going to be easy okay and it's going to take some time but once you identify those blocked energies you and eliminate that blockage you're going to help heal the wound now for some of you you know that there's this subconscious block blockage okay it's for a lot of you actually, for about probably 90% of you watching this, there's a subconscious blockage. And this subconscious blockage is uh, a mental block that you're not entirely aware of. Intuitively, you might feel like, hey, there's something, like it's almost like there's something stopping you or you feel like you've stagnated and you've not made progress, but I don't think you're completely aware of it. And it's self, this subconscious blockage is manifesting as self-destructive behavior. Okay, and it's manifesting as self-limiting um, self-limiting thoughts, negative thoughts, just negative uh, patterns, thoughts of patterns, or even like uh, behavior. For others of you, there's also this very strong spiritual blockage that's happening here. And this is, it's caused by a disconnection. Okay, this is caused by a disconnection between your, like your spiritual beliefs and your sense of self okay there's some sort of disconnection that's going on there so you're you're picking up imprints around you you're picking up energies around you imprints around you other people's beliefs and other people's attitudes and beliefs about you and who you are and who you think you should be and it's causing this disconnection between your beliefs and your you know your sense of self as well there's a lot of relationship blockages too, not only romantic, like married, like um, relationships, you know, like, yes, romance, but also like friendships, uh, family, unhealthy relationships. No, now these are manifesting, those unhealthy relationships are manifesting as tension, okay, tension between you and a connecting energy a romantic energy a sibling a friend you know um it it's this inability to express and communicate what's happening with you and what's happening with this person okay um Any physical symptoms that you're experiencing are a way of yourself calling out for help. It's okay. Any physical symptoms, migraines, any hurt, pain, anything you've experienced physically, it's a way of your body, your body calling out for help. Don't ignore that. Okay. Because um, some of you, I feel like you've been, you've not been aware of it. You've been experiencing, maybe you've been experiencing a lot of, um, like it could be a lot of, throat problems, migraines, um, you know, that, that has something to do with the mental blockages, the, the communication, the lack of communication here. You have to follow through with it, okay, because your emotion, your internal blockages are manifesting externally. You cannot ignore. There's something here that I feel like is coming up very strongly in your energy. 
okay and it's manifesting as physical symptoms and it's it's a way it's a way of your sense of self okay your inner being that's crying out for help the thing is it's it's been long repressed whatever this is you've been trying to bury it you've been trying to shelve it you've been you've been storing and carrying this energy for so long and you don't need to do that it's been weighing you down and if you're asking yourself the question because i can feel some of you asking right now why now okay why is this because as of recently this has been manifesting repeatedly this physical symptom like these headaches this this tension you might feel in your shoulders your neck area this has been manifesting constantly and you might be putting it down to a lot of computer use or you might be putting it down to a lot of stress but it, it's and you sort of been dismissing it in a way or you know you, you haven't been paying attention to it but there's so much more um you know this message that's being uh delivered to you there's so much more to what you know you're getting and you're receiving right now and it's been long repressed these energies these blocked energies they've you've been carrying it for so long so long that you are sort of crumbling under the weight of it okay so that's why now because it, there's just it's it, it's taken such a toll on your body on your physical your emotional your spiritual body that um it, it can no longer you can no longer support it like the weight how heavy this is so heavy that the you're you're not able to physically emotionally mentally support the weight of this trauma support the weight of this you know blocked energy so this is why now okay this is why it's happening now and you've been especially with the star energy it offers such a healing energy here uh, you're given this opportunity to shine a light on the shadow aspect of yourself okay of those blocked energies shine a light so that you can drag whatever it is out into the open because you've been keeping it in the dark okay it's been bothering you maybe on a subconscious level but you've been ignoring it or you've just not been avoiding it not been wanting to deal with it but it's time for you to now shine a light onto whatever this is for you whatever these blocked energies are so that you can deal with it so that you can heal it okay um and notice how you've got the sun and the you know you've got the sun here you've got the stars and you've got the moon <sighs> that's really beautiful you know they all provide light they all put, provide illumination so right now even if you might be going through something uh dark like even if you feel like this area of your life like you feel stagnated you feel stuck and it feels uncomfortable it feels maybe distressing or it feels painful there is a there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel but there's also something so beautiful about this pain that you're going through because if you just allow yourself if you embrace this shadow self right this shadow shadowy aspect of whatever this is you're able to heal this and you're able to grow through this okay this is an experience is what this is whatever that whatever it is that you're holding on to those repressed emotions those repressed energies it was an experience okay it may not have been the experience you wanted to have it may not have been the experience you planned for um, it may not even have been the experience you were ready for but it was your experience okay it was your experience it may not have been a very positive one it may not even have been a negative one it might just have been a neutral experience but it was for you to experience so that you could grow through it so that you could become the person that you're meant to be or become the person that you are but you're blocking that experience okay you're saying you don't want to deal with it you're saying it's too difficult you're saying it's too painful but it's a part of who you are and you have to the sooner you embrace this blocked energy the sooner you embrace this information as to an understanding as to why you're blocking this energy the sooner you can heal start the healing process and this healing process is going to be wonderful for you it truly is going to be therapeutic it's going to be like a catharsis it's going to be very healing uh, very liberating okay it's going to free you and you're honestly going to start feeling 
so much like lighter as light as a feather because all of this energy that you've been carrying around for like years and years and years that's been weighing you down okay and that's why it's starting to take a toll on you because you've been carrying it for so long that it's your body's way of saying this is too heavy i can't keep doing this okay so all of that is going to start uh like falling off all that weight is going to you're going to start feeling so much more lighter because that's the liberation that's the that's the freedom that your sense of self is craving and you have to allow to you have to um, allow yourself to have access to that okay so all of this blocked energy right now all of this energy that you're storing this pent-up energy these repressed emotions um it's it has to do from the past okay there's something here that you're still holding on to there's something there's repressed and lingering residual emotions energies that you're holding on to and you haven't allowed those experiences or those emotions to pass through you they've entered your energy they entered your energy field but you've hold you've held on to them whether you wanted to or not you've been holding on to them it is now time to release those energies okay it's time to release those energies so you can start the healing process because that's this is what the star card is offering you it's the healer here you do have to be patient right now and it's all about you know rebalancing your chakras because some of you we spoke about having a very closed off energy very you know a closed chakra um, closed energies blocked off energy so you have to learn to uh you know rebalance your chakras you have to learn to you know restore balance because you've got a wonderful loving energy okay but you're closing yourself off you're closing yourself off to love and just opportunities that those opportunities they're coming up around you the thing is you're blocking yourself off to growth to expansion to love and success okay but you're doing i don't think you i don't think you realize that i think you're doing it on a subconscious level because nobody intentionally wants to deprive themselves of love and success right nobody intentionally sets out to do that at least i don't think so so here you are you're blocking yourself off subconsciously so it's so important that you sit with yourself and you find out what is this exactly where is this all coming from why are you not living the life that you why aren't you living your best life why aren't you living the life that you know you deserve you know why aren't you experiencing the success that you're so deserving of why aren't you experiencing and why aren't you in a you know healthy relationship with your romantic partner or why aren't you in a healthy relationship with yourself okay it's because of those blocked energies it's because you're subconsciously carrying out emotional and behavioral patterns that close you off to opportunities and there are opportunities the thing is there's been so many opportunities around you but those opportunities might be manifesting too like if they feel so close to you um it may be like it's happening to your best friends or it's happening to your work colleagues or it's happening to you know uh people that are so close around you that feel so energetically connected to you but those opportunities want to have access to you but you are blocking yourself off from those opportunities you're saying you're not ready for it or you're saying you're not willing to embrace those opportunities not consciously i feel like subconsciously but that's why it's so important for you to discover um, and for you to learn what are those blocked energies for you okay what your blocked energies are so that you can start the healing process and that you can you know allow access to everything beautiful that you really do deserve everything beautiful that you're so deserving of okay and these are your messages i feel like these have been some very big powerful messages and um i feel like this is a message that you shouldn't skip um it's something that you shouldn't avoid or you should no longer avoid so i hope that these messages have been helpful thank you for your time your energy your attention and i do wish you guys all um, the best on this path to healing to wellness um and to love and success for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to reach out